Here we're going to show you what's involved in installing the 12 mm by 100 mm long shaft stone pin. First you drill a 16 mm by 50 mm deep hole in the masonry substrate. You then get the drop in anchor and you fill the end of the drop in anchor with, with a type of construction type glue. And then you place the anchor in the hole, tap to the face, then you take the drive pin and you drive home the base of the stone drop in anchor. This is where we screw the shaft into the anchor in the wall. At this stage, the front disc is not on the shaft. It is screwed up tight. And then tightened. And then the front disc is applied to the shaft fixed to the shaft. That is all that's involved in installing the stone pin. Here we have the three versions of the stone pin. In the first case we have the, the drop-in anchor applied to the end of the shaft and here we have the drop-in anchor that's been driven home in the matrix of the wall. And here we have it where it's been driven home with the construction glue flowing into place in the hole. This is by far the best option. Here we have two other type fixings that are often considered when thinking of using the stone pin system. The first one is a non-adjustable bracket that requires a mechanical fixation to the substrate to be effective. The other one is a threaded bar that has had the end flattened down and a pin installed in the front and has to be epoxied into the substrate and then held in place by Dutch pins and wedges until the epoxy is set. This one, when it is installed into the substrate, tightened up, it is finished with.